Emergency Alert System, Ontario, please stand by. Report your location and remain with any individuals you may live with. Go online to www.reportingnow.gc.ca and complete the short form provided for this purpose. Contact your family members and record their locations. Have them record yours. It is imperative you do this immediately. If you have any children, keep them with you and do not let them leave your home. When traveling for food or other items of necessity, make sure to record your current location, time of leaving and your destination and estimated arrival time to a loved one or online on the site mentioned above. Return home. This emergency announcement has been authorized by the Government of Ontario, Missing Persons Office. Instances of missing persons have risen tenfold over the past two weeks. Local police districts have mobilized with the fire department's search and rescue units to comb the landscape. As you have already seen, the list of missing persons is presented at the end of each newscast. All police forces in Quebec and Manitoba have also been informed and are actively participating in the search. Currently, no missing persons have been found. Contact your local police department immediately if you have any clues that could help. Do not travel in a group. Do not travel at all. Only not L not Eve your home for necessities. Limit your group sizes to two people. Three is recommended if a child is with you. Any group larger must be split up. Communication is key to resolving this crisis. Communicate with your local police, your families or anyone whom you live with. All apartment blocks and strata administration have been instructed to take a daily headcount of all individuals living inside the complex. Please cooperate with your strata officials. They will announce themselves with three short knocks. Do not open your door to any other signal. Do not leave your complex for any neighbors. Only speak with your building's management. If a missing person has occurred in your complex, management will ask you for information. You are now legally obligated to speak with them. False leads or supplying fake information will lead to immediate imprisonment, bail will not be accepted. Housing families have been assigned a neighborhood representative. This representative will take a headcount daily, announcing themselves with three short knocks. Cooperate with them. Notify them of your recent movements. A check-in code will now operate automatically with your phone when you enter supermarkets, laundromats, hospitals, or police stations. This will update your location to the relevant authorities. Understand that if you should visit non-necessitated businesses, it will be difficult to track your movements and assist in your search should you go missing. Do not take unnecessary risks and follow instructions as more are released in accordance federal law. It is important you remain safe. If you use an iPhone smartphone, it is now possible to give permission to the Ontario government to geolocate you thanks to the Find My application. You can now draw a boundary on the map and we will be notified the minute you leave it. This is done on a voluntary basis but we encourage you to participate. Your data will be destroyed as soon as this situation ends. Thank you. Do not leave your home. Emergency Alert System, Ontario, please stand by. Personnel carriers are currently transporting any and all individuals. Please, leave your homes and proceed to the nearest Canadian Armed Forces occupied checkpoint to secure yourself and your family inside. Take only necessities with you, medicine, clothing and small, imperishable food items. You no longer require identification, a passport, or any form of certificate. The Army has been instructed to aid in the evacuation of all people from both major and minor urban centers. Stay away from major arterial roads, public transport is non-functioning. Specially designed sirens are periodically blaring, follow these sounds. They will lead you to a military checkpoint. If you encounter an armed convoy of personal carriers, seek shelter with them. They will accept you, they will accept your family. If there is no room, the commanding officer will direct you and your small group elsewhere. The Canadian Armed Forces are here to help. If your family member is missing, do not search for them. You must find shelter with the military and give your family members information to them. They will do what they can. If you see any equine figure, that is, something akin to a horse, flee the area immediately. Do not stop moving, do not look behind you. Do not attempt to photograph these horses or horse-like creatures. Once you encounter the appropriate authorities, tell them what you saw. If you are found to have concealed information, 
that is about encountering an equine figure, you will be extricated from the area. Should you resist, the military is authorized to use lethal force. The police lines are non-functional and the officers themselves are now only present within triage centers. Actions to move people to safety are now at the discretion of local commanding officers. Do not engage with any equine-like figures. If you possess a firearm, do not use it. Weapons are unnecessary weight and will not defend you. Leave all your weapons, they are useless in the current situation. Survival is stealth. Stay hidden, move quickly. Do not look around, keep your eyes forward facing. Moving without sight is preferable, however this is dangerous. Minefields are being laid on all major highways, they are identified with this symbol. Do not proceed into a minefield, they are armed and highly volatile. You will be killed. The country is currently under invasion, as such, occupational laws in effect. The military has full operational discretion. Flee equine figures, keep your eyes forward facing. Mass kidnappings are occurring, 2 million people are currently unaccounted for. That number is rising exponentially, every hour. Do not be a part of this phenomena. Triage centers currently have all amenities required. Please tell the on-site physicians if you have any special medical needs. Remember, take only necessities with you. Leave your homes. This emergency broadcast will now cease. Emergency alert system. Ontario, please stand by. You must cover your eyes. Admittance will be rejected in the designated safe zones unless you have been blinded. The definition of blinded is being unable to distinguish objects and movements no greater than one meter from your person. We currently have blindfolds to veil your eyes so that you comply with the measures in place. They can only be physically removed by a member of the Canadian Armed Forces. Once on your face, you will not have access to the closing mechanism and it will be impossible for you to remove it yourself. It is very likely that you will have to keep these blindfolds covering your eyes for months or even years. The compounds are outfitted with seminars specifically designed to teach the newly blinded Braille. Corridors and rooms have been constructed specially with ease of movement. Sensors adorn each ledge that send out a screeching alarm when a blind person wanders too close. Handrails are built into the walls and guide dogs are being bred. Flee major urban centers. Cluster bombs have been authorized on major population centers. This will occur in 72 hours. If you are unable to locate a compound, flee any major urban center such as Toronto, Ottawa, Hamilton, Kitchener within a minimum 24 kilometers radius. It is important to not pursue any voices heard, any messages to your phone or any figures that may resemble family members moving just out of sight. Do not deviate from your path. Remain focused on the goal of reaching a compound. Psychological warfare has been seen to be employed by the invaders. Tricks and traps are being utilized to catch individuals. They are subsequently vanished. It is important to stock up on food and to drink from fresh water sources. The Lake Ontario and Lake Huron are not an escape. Do not attempt to swim to safety. Ships will no longer arrive, and global supply chains have collapsed. Communications with other countries are becoming sparse and difficult to maintain. This emergency broadcast will now cease. <laughs>